every five years the barge will undergo uh, a docking and a renewal survey and a major survey where all her certificates are renewed. What we're doing now is, is the docking survey and any repairs that we find. Uh, Cape Preston's about uh, 45, 50 nautical mile down the road south of here. So we arranged to tow them up with one of our tugs. We found out that they're a bit easier to tow back after we've painted their bottoms than, uh, than when, they were, when, when we brought them up. They're a bit more slippery in the water. Uh, my name's Andrew Jenkins. Uh, I'm the dock master at MMA Offshore in Dampier. Uh, I've lived in Dampier 10 years. Uh, young family, a couple of young boys and, and the wife's here and um, yeah, we, we enjoy it. 120 metre uh, barge and we're 140 metres of hard stand so it's, it's full utilisation for the, for the time that the barges have been up, about 10 weeks, I think the four barges. They're probably our main, main workhorse, they, they're the ones that uh, are always on the run along with the tugs, but they take the, the, the product out that we run them 24-7 um, and without them we could never make that link between Wharf and the, uh, and the Mini Cape. Uh, Brendan Mooney is my name, I'm a boiler maker. I um, work for Marine and Construction Services. We're a subcontract, uh, structural subcontractor to Mermaid Marine on the slipway here. I'm a boiler maker welder by trade. I did my trade in uh, shipbuilding at Australia Shipbuilding Industry, which was the only shipbuilder in Perth uh, back in the 70s when I did mine. So I won't tell you how old I really am. Yeah, Marine Construction Services are uh, based in primarily in Karratha. Um, we've got about uh, a core group of around about a half a dozen blokes that we um, employ all the time. And uh, we can go up to 12 to 18 fellas, depending on how busy we are. We currently have a full-time team of 11 staff um, that run and operate the, the shipyard itself um, with a contract group of about 40 to 60 people, depending on, uh, on which vessels are up at the time. Um, for the mag barges, for example, we had about 20 painting contractors and 10 structural contractors. Uh, the next tug that's due up will have um, mechanical contractors, electrical contractors, uh, and there'll be upwards of 40, 40 tradesmen on site. Since January 2016, a rough estimate, it must be nine million plus dollars we've, we've uh, put into the local economy through uh, local businesses or national businesses that have uh, outlets here, from the pharmacy, from Blackwoods, from uh, the local carrying companies, people like Mermaid, um, hydraulics technicians, people like that, that all serve as support. I've been lucky to see uh, over the 11 years that it kind of come from um, steady up into the boom and then and then to come back down again and, and experience all the challenges throughout. And of course you look around here, you know, just a beautiful scenery, very param uh, panoramic and a uh, yeah, great place to work. You know. So you know I, I reckon it's great. It's a, I've been a deep sea man, but uh, this is my first time coastal for the last six years and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm, I'm definitely a glass half full guy. <laughs> you, you work hard, you, you have something that comes in broken, you tear it apart, you put it back together and you have this achievement when you've um, when you fixed something and it looks brand new again, they paint it and off it goes back into the water. Then we get a clean bill of health and then we run for another five years and we do it all again. <laughs>